Welcome to this week's installment of the Two Minute Drill. We're here, as always, with Nichols football head coach Dale Olmstead. Bison coming off a bye week, but before that, they hosted homecoming. They played Western New England. Coach, talk a little bit about the game, the highlights from that. 27 points up, uh, Tony's three touchdowns. Yeah, no, we knew it would be in for a battle. Um, you know, they came out, you know, guns ablaze and had a nice couple drives with us early on. Kind of put us in the, you know, on our heels a little bit. Um, and, and, you know, defensively they got a safety on us. Um, offensively they were able to move the ball. Um, but we came out in the second half, you know, uh, with a great drive, scored a touchdown to make it, I think, like 28 to 14. Uh, kind of made it a game. I mean, they, I, I think they were, you know, they were a little nervous that we weren't going back, you know, that we weren't going to leave. Um, you know, they'd use a couple timeouts on that drive to kind of slow us down. They weren't able to. Um, we kicked the ball to them. Our defense does a great job, holds them to a three and out. We get the ball back, you know, try to, you know, hey, you know, let's make this a ball game here. And uh, I think a few plays later, uh, it was a pick six. They return it for a touchdown. And all the momentum that we'd build up at the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half kind of went out the door. And uh, But, you know, I'm proud of our guys. They fought hard to the end, um, putting up, as you mentioned, 28 points. It's probably the most we've put up, I know, since I've been here. So that's certainly a positive thing. And then also, you know, Tony receiving the uh, rookie of the week, and I believe that might be the third one in, in his, like, five weeks. So, um, you know, we're pretty excited about our future, excited about the way we played. Obviously, we had a different result. Uh, but, you know, we're on to our bye week and then Salvi this week. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. You've had awards almost every week this year. We've had Chris Mullins. We've had Matt McEvely. We've had Tony Marignoli. We've had JPC. Everyone recognized. What does it say for the program where they've come from just to weekly have student-athletes recognized? Uh, it's a great accomplishment for our staff and the players that we brought in this year. You know, it wasn't one of our biggest recruiting class in numbers, but certainly the quality was there. Um, you know, we're very excited about all the plays that you mentioned. Um, and then you, you know, then you add a, you know a few other guys. The one that pops into my mind would be Tyler uh, Crawford. You know, the six seven kid, two eighty pound lineman out of Miami, uh, who's an offensive lineman that usually don't get some of those accolades. And then on the defensive side of the ball, Nick Newhoff is a freshman starting nose man for us, six one, about three hundred pound kid from Georgia. So you know, there's also there's other, a lot of freshmen are playing right now. They're contributing um, right away, and it's paying off. Um, I think on the field as well. You guys had a bye this past week. Just talk about what the team did, how many days you gave them off, and just maybe how you relaxed. Yeah, you know it's uh, you know it's been a long time coming for. I know the staff and players uh, really haven't put a two days off since probably the first weekend in August to have a weekend off. Our first Sunday probably since then. Um, so yeah, it was great. It was a chance for us to you know to rest our body and mind, and you know kind of enjoy the little things in life, and you know get ready. Yesterday was our first day back on the football field, and. Kids were fired up, but excited about our opportunity this weekend versus a very, very competitive and a good football team in Salve, Regina. We sat down a couple weeks ago and we talked about kind of the murders row you had coming up with Endicott, Western New England, and this is the third leg of that with Salve, Regina, a team that's been at the top of the conference the last couple of years. Talk about the matchup Saturday. Yeah, uh, and they're still up at the top. Um, you know, as you mentioned, we played two very good teams leading up to this game, so hopefully we can use that experience, sort of weather the storm against Salve. Um, watching them on film, they're kind of a mix of both. They might not have um, some of the sizes as, as maybe an Endicott, but they're a little bit more athletic than Western New England. So they're, they're kind of in the mix. They're very, they're a very good team, very explosive team on offense. No one's been able to really stop them. They have an outstanding running game, but certainly you couldn't stop there. They also have great receivers and a quarterback, um, you know, that's proven as well. On the defensive side of the ball, it'll. As I said, it won't be the biggest team we face, but certainly the most, the quickest and the most physical team. They have a couple great inside linebackers, quick defensive linemen. Uh, the secondary, again, is not as big as probably Western New England, but they're very, very good. Uh, you know, I see a lot of man coverage, a lot of blitzes. They're going to put pressure on us, I'm sure. Um, you know, Coach Kilmartin does a great job, him and his staff, and, you know, I, I expect them to be ready to go. Fans game begins at 12 o'clock at Claudet Field down in Middletown, Rhode Island. You can also go to NicholasAthletics.com to watch the video and live stats. Coach, good luck this week. All right, thanks, Pete.